Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 51 of the Let's Play. So last time it took us an atrocious amount of time to complete a paralogue, so this time hopefully it's going to take us not an atrocious amount of time to complete the paralogue. I heard bad things about this one, but yeah, you know, there's no way to find out except from hopping into it. So let's see. Marianne's paralogue. There's no reason to feign ignorance. I know all about you. What are you talking about? Just come here. Professor, help! Don't interfere. Just hand the girl over to me. I'm telling you this for your own good. You're putting yourself in danger by associating with her. Do you know of the wandering beast stalking the woods in the Edmund Territory? It is said that it attacks people every night and drags them off to feast. The true identity of the wandering beast is that girl right there. No. No, I would never. No matter. I'll get the evidence I need. My apologies for getting you involved in that. In truth, that man has been following me ever since my father disappeared. He's a crest scholar. The crest that my father bore in was passed down to me. It was Maurice's crest. Yes, it's also known as the Crest of the Beast. The Crest of the Beast? It's said there were once 12 heroes who saved Fodlan. There was the King of Liberation, Nemesis, the Ten Elites, and finally... Maurice. One day, Maurice suddenly transformed into a hideous beast and slaughtered innocent people. It was like when Miklon of House Gautier turned into a black beast, a negative energy dwelling within his crest, turned Maurice into a monster. The people of Fodlan grew to despise him, and he was stripped of his honor. His whole clan was conquered, and it was believed that his bloodline had vanished. But even now, there exists a few descendants who have inherited Maurice's crest. Interesting. Ask, my family line is one of them. Maurice's crest is a symbol of disaster. Anyone who comes in contact with it is met with great misfortune. Those who carry the crest become beasts at night and slaughter innocent people. Yes. The rumor about the wandering beast in the woods. People are saying the creature is similar in appearance to Maurice's bestial form. That may be true, but I doubt I could do it on my own. If you and some of the others came with me, though. Let's do it. Thank you. But, um, promise you won't tell anyone about my crest? I'm sorry to have to ask, but thank you. All right, so I guess we're going to go and kill some monsters then. Usually monster paralogues don't take too long, but the last time I said that, the paralogue before took us ages to complete. So, yeah. Hopefully this one doesn't take long. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Staying alive. Okay. Yep. Fog of War. Just what I thought. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. It's got Armored Blow, Death Blow, and Defiant Strength. Okay, this is going to be a difficult chapter, to say the least. I mean, we could technically warp Shamir over to her. Where is Linhart? Oh, here he is. We're standing on him. Okay. Because you just know there's going to be... Oh, hang on. This is the chapter we just played. It's the exact same layout. They're supposed to be in different places. I don't know. That's kind of lazy.
All right, let's just make sure that our weapons are fully repaired real quick. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Fix that. We can that fix that. Let's fix these. Thanks a bunch. Come back. Uh, actually, we should bring a torch. Or a couple of them at the very least. She does not have the capacity to carry them. Okay, then. I kind of want to keep the brave sword. Caspar has them too. Where is he standing? Up here, okay. All right, let's do it. Uh, are you really the wandering beast that people talk about? You, do you bear our crest? For what purpose did you come here? Our crest? Does that mean... He can talk! It appears that your presence has been detected by bloodthirsty demonic beasts. Put me in there. Oh, God. All right, well, we're going to have to try and break through as quick as possible, so. Demonic beasts. Everyone, please move carefully. This forest is the den of demonic beasts. You will be lucky to make it out alive. More fighting. Well, we're going to try and get through this. I don't know if we move through the forest or or what we do. Oh, come on. I do this for all of us. strategy 
ready for anything. I'm awake. Let's clean up. A normal attack should be able to break this shield here. Nice dodge. Let's see if we crit. Okay, there we go. That that's the finishing blow. This could turn the tides. Fine work. Are you serious? Okay. Let's try to not get killed. Oh, there's soldiers too. Okay, fun. So fun. We got an antitoxin. Let's try and shoot this weak point here. If we can hit it, then Dorothea could probably finish this next guy off. And we can, okay, cool. Now we can focus on what's ahead of us. There we go. Only 
thorns left on this rose. Good stuff. He does way too much damage with that. Um, we need to heal Ferdinand first. Thank you. Because he's running a little low on health here. Yep, that'll do the trick. double normally with it? Yeah, he can. Nice dodge. And a critical, okay. Unfortunately, he just brought blocked Byleth from attacking into this thing. which is not what we wanted. Uh, let's roll with it and see. Nice. She's not in range of anyone. Oh, that's not good. We're all going to get poisoned. I mean, I can have Linhart use Restore. It's just not ideal. Cool. Yeah, let's just use restore. Get rid of all this junk. go imagine beating up this big wolf with just your bare hands oh it's still got more um okay then Yeah, we need to grab it from close range here. 27 is honestly such a low percent chance of hitting, so 
If it hits, it's only going to hit once. There's one miss. Throw another rock at me, I dare you. And another miss. Good stuff. Yeah, for some reason, I don't really want to do that. I would rather just one shot with the iron bow with Shamir for safety's sake. Feels good to fight for a cause. Back to the fray. All right, good stuff. So this one's almost down. That's good. It won't be in vain. Oh, Catherine's not on the map. That's what's missing. I'm strong. I was like, I'm sure we've got someone who's not on here who should be. Just hold tight here for a minute. All right, it's defeat the enemy commander, which is this beast, right? The map is so big, it's kind of hard to tell. Alright, so there's nothing in the vicinity aside from this one. Heal Arvis and get him up there to the front lines. All right, Marianne has been uh, safely gotten brought back to. Uh... I'm good now. Oh, they're going for Ferdinand. That's not fun. Uh, Dorothea can use physic. Yeah, now he'll be fine. Thank you. I will not let down my guard. Yeah, we'll use Linhart to heal him afterwards. Try and get an item from this one. If we can sneak behind the back of it, we can. I wonder if this will be enough. Let's see. I hope so. The 
the results. Oh damn. We're in range of uh Children of the Goddess. Whatever that means. And yeah, we couldn't break that, so we're gonna have to come here and shoot it with Bernie. And hope it breaks. Okay, she dodged. That's good. Oh, nice. Catherine did a little follow-up. That's cool. I'm okay. Stronger than before. Good level up. We got the Umbral Steel. And I think between Dorothea and Petra and Shamir, the finishing it off shouldn't be an issue. Yep, there we go. Not for myself, for everyone. I'm impressed. Oh, it's just Sedeth that needs to be healed? Alright. This is normal heal then. Oh, that guy didn't move. Are we actually out of his range? Okay, then. Well, the torch is still active, so... All right, there's no one in this area. I guess it's just the beasts that are around the back now, here. That is a lot of damage, but we've got Linhart with Physic, who can compensate, so... Sending their numbers. Yeah, this is the same map we literally just battled on. I wonder if we try going up or if we just, I don't know, just go straight to the boss. I, th I don't want to get too over leveled, so I think maybe we just go straight to the boss. Yeah, let's do that. Uh-oh. Alright, well, let's get in position to kill him. Form up! Surround them all!
Hmm. Yeah, let's heal up Ferdinand. All right, let's let's get him. He's gonna attack into Arvis, so. Well, this guy's moving in. I don't know if that's reinforcements or not, but if it is, that's not a good thing. So we need to get moving. All right, so what we need to do is we need to shatter at least one here. So, Bane of Monsters should be able to... Yikes, this guy's got a lot of HP. Okay. And he does a lot of damage. So, let's shatter the front at least. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. But once we shatter the front, he shouldn't be able to counterattack. Now... If we do Monster Blast with Silver Bow, should be able to hit this. Will stop me from upon your flesh and blood. Whatever you say, bro. Please get a good level up. Okay, we'll take we'll take speed. We we do need strength. You do need strength. Yes. All right, and here we can go with the monster piercer on the back leg. Oh, did we break the steel bow? All right. Can Ferdinand double? Yeah, okay, let's save that. I think everyone here can do a lot of damage to him, so... Uh, maybe we just bombard with Casper. So now we can counterattack again, right? Oh, it didn't break. Uh, okay. I don't think that'll break it either, but we can try. Nope, it didn't. Alrighty then. This should break it. No use. I will All right, we got the umbral steel times 5.
Yeah, let's Thank heal up. I don't think that many people got hurt, but just in case. Yeah, it's just Arvis, really. Well done. But we've got one sneaking around the back, so we want to make sure that we... Uh... Yeah, I don't think killing him would be a good idea here, because then he just resets. Let's restore. Because then Ferdinand can get unpoisoned. Okay, good stuff. So he's got 33 HP. That'll do it. Nice level up. Hundred HP. Yikes. Do it. It's a 19% hit chance. Yeah, see, Monster Blast does basically the same damage that a normal does, except, oh, it's he's got 0% chance to hit. Oh, okay, then we just do normal attacks. There's no reason to, to go Monster Blast. Honestly, we could go in for a kill with Linhart here and be pretty safe, I think. Yeah, why not? All right, now we need to kill it one more time. I think I'm improving. That's all right, bro. You did okay. I don't know what that... Oh, that's the Defiant Strength. Okay. Yeah, no, Silver Lance is going to be our go-to here unless... Yeah, Silver Lance it is. It's a lot of HP. let down my guard. Nine times four is 36. If we did bombard, that's 24. Let's go for this and see what happens. Okay, good stuff. Don't crit. All right, now Caspar can get the kill with bombard. Should we attack with Marianne? Oh, wait. No, we shouldn't. But we can talk. You saved me, Professor. Thank you. The wandering beast's true form. Could it be? So 
Sorry, I need to focus on the fight. Back to the fray. Oh man, if it's one of her parents, that's gonna be so sad. Nice. Keep getting stronger. Well done. Finally, this nightmare of a thousand years is at its end. Oh, inheritor of my Christ. If this body is to decay, then the sword. I leave it to you. Oh, well, he we didn't get to figure out who it was. All right, let's see what the rest of the story is. That was uh, not too bad. Not too bad. I still can't believe what we saw in that forest. The wandering beast's eviscerated body. Only human bones... And this sword remaining. Oh. Surely the creature's true identity was. I'm sorry. You again? I heard rumor that the wandering beast was slain. But do you really believe that frees you of suspicion? Without proof that it was slain, the argument that you are not a beast does not stand. Furthermore, I. Huh? Oh, that sword! When the Wandering Beast was defeated, this sword... It's unmistakable. Carved into that sword's crest stone is Maurice's crest. But how would the Lost Magic Blade end up with the Wandering Beast? According to what I know of Maurice's story, he didn't let go of the sword until the very end. That must mean... Oh man, Maurice was still alive until today? I see. So that's what happened. My apologies. It seems I was mistaken. I must be going. So the wandering beast was... He was roaming the dark woods for over a thousand years, suffering for his murderous past. It's true. And because of that, I feel as though... My curse has been lifted. The blood of a beast no longer flows through me. I feel human for once. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it on my own. Without your help, I would never have found peace. Well, I'm glad you did find peace. I'll do anything I can to repay my debt to you. Blute Gang. That's an interesting side story. At least you get to hear that one of the ten heroes lost himself and turned into a beast. It's crazy. Uh, maybe I should pause here before the story starts. Oh, okay, no, we've got... All right, we've got this screen. Okay, so... That's going to round off episode 51, and the next one will continue with the story, episode 52. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!